Hi everybody, uh, I just got this uh, brand new Ouster OS1 64 layer 3 LiDAR. Uh, this thing is really cool, uh, it's used for autonomous cars, uh, and you're, you're going to see them everywhere. Uh, and so I'm super excited to integrate it in some of my robots at home. Uh, but first I thought I'd show you how to use it, uh, and how to, how to set it up. Uh, so here from the website you can see some, some data they're using, uh, autonomous driving. Uh, these things are very cheap compared to buying a Belladyne, and it's really kind of the same, same uh, functionality. So all the, all the code uh, that we're using here is on my GitHub page from this fork uh, called uh, Ouster uh, Ross One, and uh, all the instructions are also here if you if you want to read along. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is try to figure out which hardware interface we want to be using. Uh, so for my computer, I happen to know it's this this ENXA uh, hardware address. So we want to uh, actually flush flush everything out of this first uh, in order to uh, make sure we, we kind of clean environment to work with. Cool. So we flushed it, and now we're just gonna make sure that it's actually down. Uh, it should be, but you know. Okay, so we see here that it's uh, it's down. So we're we're good to go. So we're gonna add now a stack IP address uh, for for our our, uh, our device. So we're gonna go into 10.5.5.1, 24 subnet. Cool. All right. Uh, as you can see, that we're we're now connected to to that uh, to that IP address. And uh, yeah, now it's time that we can actually plug in our LiDAR. So I'm gonna go over here real quick and just plug this guy in, let it warm up for a second. So with that, uh, that should probably be enough time. So let's see if the, uh, the network uh, connection is now up. Oh, sorry, it's uh, connecting to us. So let's make sure that actually it is up by uh, showing. Okay, and we can see that our connection is now up. That's good. All right, uh, so because we are not plugging this into a router and we're plugging it directly into our computer, uh, we actually need to create a DNS server. So we're gonna use that with uh, the DNS mask command. So you don't need to follow along with necessarily everything that's happening uh, on, on this command, just kind of copy paste it and forget about it. But we're gonna create uh, basically a range from, from 50 to 100 in this, in this range. And uh, this is actually gonna take a, a little bit of time to, to finally connect to, to the laser and, and, and negotiate the IPs. So while we're doing that, uh, we're gonna go into our temp workspace and I'm gonna clear out uh, the existing workspace, just to start fresh. And we're going to create a new Catkin workspace so that we can uh, test this out. So we're going to initialize the Catkin workspace. Inside this workspace, we're going to uh, clone the product that I, I, I'll, I'll have linked to in the description below. Okay, so let's build that code. Let's go back here. All right, cool. We can see that we are now uh, we've now now connected. So if we go to uh, nmap, we can see what the IP address is. Or our lighter, so we're gonna see it's uh, our computer is 10.5.5.1, uh, and then the lighter is 10.5.5.87. So let's just go ahead and ping that lighter, just to make sure that we're all good. Yep, and we can see that we're, that we're pinging it, and uh, all good. So let's go back here. We're almost finished. Uh, finished building. So this is gonna be both the uh, Ouster Client, which is an example code uh, without using ROS, this Ouster Viz, which is a uh, visualization engine based off of uh, VTK, and then Ouster ROS, which is the, the, the ROS drivers and uh, launch files. So we're going to be sourcing our develop space to, to access that stuff. I'll be launching this Ouster ROS um, OS1.launch. Cool, uh, we can see it connected. We see that we connected at the, the correct IP address. Uh, that's a nice mode. We got uh, the serial number, uh, the revision number for the uh, the firmware. So now if we launch uh, Arviz, let's close out some of these panels that didn't quite load correctly, um, and see what topics we have here. So we have a point cloud and an IMU topic. So let's uh, let's open the point cloud. Let's open the IMU, and uh, we need to put this into a global frame that the, that the laser knows about. So we're going to go to the OS one sensor frame, and there we go. We see some data. Um, so this giant arrow is the uh, the IMU. So if I just like rotate the oh, oops. <laughs> if I rotate the lighter a bunch, <laughs> you're gonna see the, uh, the the IMU vector move over, and you can see our point cloud here. 
and you know this is into the 64 layer point cloud this is pretty pretty dense and you know this is this is a, a room in san francisco which is not not very large but you can see it's very very dense uh with, with the points here and one one really nice thing about the the ouster lidars versus like a felodyne or other other brands is that they're actually taking measurements off of the encoder ticks so that means that for every rotation you're going to get essentially the same point at the same position in the range image um, which is really nice. So you can actually catch information or do some geometric methods knowing that there's some, some structure behind the point cloud and then they're not phase shift uh, by anything. So there you go, there you have it. So we showed up how to set the networking, uh, how, to, how to build the ROS driver and the, and the demo launch file to uh, start out. Um, well, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.